look, I don't think that physical books are actually stupid. They hold a place very near and dear to my heart. As you can see by my bookshelf, I still buy them but they do have quite a few flaws. And if I'm being honest with you, I've primarily switched to reading on my Kindle almost exclusively. And in today's video, I wanna tell you why I made that switch and why you should consider making the switch as well. So the framework of my decision can be broken down into three C's. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out what all three of them are. So the first C is convenience. E-readers, digital books are insanely convenient. Physical books are not. One of the main conveniences of e-readers for me is the ability to actually read in bed. I read in bed almost every single night, and if I'm reading a physical book, it's an absolute nightmare, especially if it's a hardcover or a really heavy book. So let's say I'm lying on my back like this, trying to read a book. Great, fantastic, I'm trying to wind down, but the book is really heavy and my arms are getting tired. And so you know what, let me go on my side. Okay, well, this isn't much better. Um, I'm just having to hold the book up. And so what I'll have to do is if I'm reading this page, I can lie like this, that's fantastic. But when I have to flip the page to read this one, I can't read like this. And so I actually have to roll over so I can read this page. And once I'm done reading this page and I wanna get back to reading this page, I now have to, guess what? I have to flip back over. This is really, really annoying. Physical books also take up a ton of space and weigh a shit ton. I recently had to move a lot of my books from one place to another. Not only did it require a bunch of boxes to actually move them, but they were really heavy. It was a legitimate workout to move a few dozen books. And this is a major issue for me because I like to read multiple books at once. If I get bored of one book, I can easily switch to the next. But with physical books, that's near impossible. You see, I actually recently just counted up how many books I have on my Kindle, and the number was 38. Do you have any idea how many books 38 books is? Let me show you. And so here is my Kindle, which currently holds 38 books. And here is what 38 physical books looks like. Not very convenient. And you know what else isn't very convenient? Wasting a bunch of money, which leads us to our second C, which is cost. Physical books are expensive as shit. So this is the process of how I used to go about buying books. I would see a book that I wanted to read online. I'd be really excited to read that book. And so I'd get in my car, I would drive over to the bookstore, walk inside, find the book, see that it was $40 for some stupid hardcover, go and check out anyways, because I didn't care about the price. I was super excited to read it. So then I would drive home, all excited, get home, read a few chapters, only to realize I don't even like this book. And so now I hate myself because I realized I just spent $40 on a hardcover book that I don't even like, that's just gonna sit on my bookshelf and taunt me for the rest of eternity. With digital books, I'm actually able to get the books for a fraction of the price. And quite honestly, if you know where to look, you can get them for free. So I'm able to actually test out the book to see if I like the book, both physically and financially, before I make a commitment to it. Now, enjoying the actual content inside of the book is only one part of the equation. Because you've actually bought a physical book now, you have to deal with the physical elements of this book, which leads us nicely into the third C and final C of our framework, which is customization. There are so many factors that go into the enjoyment of a physical book. The book shape, whether it's hardcover or a soft cover, the feel of the pages, the size of the font, Yes, when all of these factors align, it is an amazing experience and you can really enjoy reading that physical book. But if there's just one or two of these things that aren't to your liking, it can ruin the entire reading experience in my opinion. With an e-reader, you don't have to worry about all that stuff. The books are housed in this very nice compact device. The font size and style can be changed. And on top of all of that, you have a built-in dictionary, which would have made reading some books a whole lot easier. Exporting highlights and notes is also a breeze with the Kindle. I can take all of those and compile them and bring them into a Google Doc where I can reference them later. With a physical book, I'm left scrambling through it to remember if I even highlighted it in the first place. And now look, I'm making it sound like I hate physical books. I really don't. I actually really want to love them, but they make it really hard for me to do that. Nothing is ever gonna beat the look of a wall full of books or the smell of a new book the feel of a hardcover or a really nice thick page. 
there's a certain romance surrounding physical books that just don't exist with digital books. And so you can't really compare the two. Personally, I don't see myself ever not buying physical books. I absolutely love having them around. They inspire me, they make me feel smart, they make me wanna read new and interesting books. And at the end of the day, anything that makes you want to read more is the right decision for you to make. And if reading more is something that you are looking to do, check out this video I made on how I read more than 100 books per year and four tips that you can use to do the same.